All right, Austin Solomon, we're at Memorial Park. It's Thanksgiving Day 2019. How do I know, Sleaf? Well, Sleaf moved to uh, Rothschild, Wisconsin in 2000. Well, he was in fifth grade, I was in fourth. Called him the Alaskan kid one day as I yelled uh, out of the bus and Sleaf looked back and we were friends since. <laughs> True story. Anyhow. Sleep's trying to tell me how the day is going to go here, and he keeps on saying that. I'm going to tell the camera how good he's doing, how bad I'm doing. He needs to wake up because he's going down. Hey, it's Austin Solomon here. First time on Drop Zone Disc Golf with the one and only Schleif Dog 44. Um, so anyway, today we are... <laughs> Sleef got this idea to go disc golfing on Thanksgiving and uh, I guess I was the only one crazy enough to go. Today we're going to show you guys how to disc golf in these cold temperatures. We're on our way to the course right now. One of the most important things actually which we're going to show you guys how to do is how to properly warm up in such winter conditions. Uh, looks like the park is closed but uh, we're gonna make we're gonna go give him the go around. Sleep give him the go around? Give him the go around. My guy. What are you talking about, Sleep? Sleep's trying to criticize my, my footwear. I'm wearing Jordans. It's gonna take more than those salad and shoes to get to navigate this hill. Okay, so the first step to warming up is I like to take some heavy discs, you know, one 175 plus 170 would work in a pinch but you know two drivers 175 arm circles so kind of get them you know loosen up a little bit sometimes if i'm really feeling good i'll grab two discs in one hand but you don't want to start with two you know so just kind of loosen things up a little bit get the thing get everything moving step number two take the two power discs Put them down. This next exercise is really critical. What you're actually looking to warm up here, you want to keep the shoulders nice and warm, abdomen. This next one really works the, the wrists too. You know, you gotta you wanna make sure those wrists are nice and warmed up for the does that motion look familiar? Okay, here we go. Get ready and get get in one again. Get in one again. What's that? I could have panned back around and you would have been in another one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's. <laughs> Perfect. Woo! We're ready. Now we're ready to play, baby. <laughs> um, today we're starting off at hole one, a measly 200 some feet. So we'll start off with the putter section. Um, what do we have here? We have basically all wizards and then I got one star rhino. So this is a, you know, wizard there. This is my uh, go-to super soft wizard. Pretty much use this for putting and throwing. Also have aced this twice. Not bad. This one I don't use very often. It's a little more firm and then this one's pretty beat. So I got to do a soft turnover. This is my go-to. And then rhino, this is just overstable putter. Actually, a perfect shot. Should be looking at it. Alright, so Sleeve totally just botched a 10 foot putt. Yeah, you did. He's plus one. Work out it. Work out. I'm in the lead, boys. I'm in the lead. Strong, strong start, strong start. We're definitely gonna go to the driver section. I have quite a few drivers here, but really the only two I ever use are actually three. 
We got a legacy cannon for the cannon, champ boss, and a discraft nuke. As you can see, I'm not loyal to one brand. Let the best discs from each brand be in my bag. <laughs> Boys and girls, I can't even make this up. Sleep just missed that putt. I did not miss that putt, dude. Yeah, what are you doing? I mean, how in the world? <laughs> oh my goodness. So right now, Sleep is Sleep is plus two right now. He He's missed two eight, eight footers. So I'm totally in the lead. All right, about well, four years ago, I did throw this hole or this disc in the hole in one shot. That would be considered Sleep calls it an ace. We're gonna try to match that today. Oh! Come on, one time! <laughs> You're on. Check out this sick die. You might have seen it on our page already, but Mike Kemp does sick dies. This is a Star Wars Phoenix Squadron Rebellion die. Nice blue and purple, that blurple. Big fan. It's really MD5. Ooh, wow, that was actually pretty good. Skip ace! Short. Basket on basket. Holy smokes! Oh my goodness, Steve. I thought you said this is a. Oh my goodness! It's under the basket. Steve, people are actually gonna think I'm pretty good. <laughs> This one here, boys.
<laughs> it's been one of those days. Oh no. Oh no. That's good. Leaf to finish off the round, nice 10 footer. Ooh, nice work. <laughs> I'm tapping in for the victory. Pass. <laughs> On a serious note, finishing up the in the bag video, we got our mid range section. So basically, I have a variety of buzzes. And so this one here is just a pretty, pretty straight buzz. This one here is a little more beat. It's a glow buzz. And then I have a, uh, this is my go-to. This one's my favorite one. Um, <clears throat> this is a verdict overstable mid-range. This one's an understable uh, west side Tarsus. This one's really actually nice for, um, you know, dog leg right back hands and then this one is just a mako three i don't really use that but sleep gave it to me so well if you don't use it man i'll take it back i didn't want to make you feel bad <laughs> it's care. in my bag and then i have a in of a golf bag um nothing special i traded like 10 discs to get it and still got it houses the discs nicely all right so real quick a couple questions we ask everyone we do in the bags with Yep. Um, what was the first disc you ever threw? Well, it's definitely not in this bag, folks. <laughs> I lost too many to remember. But I'd say this one right here I've had for a super long time. This uh, this wizard. Is it the first one you ever threw? No, but... What's the first one you ever threw? Um, oh! <laughs> I had this blue. It was a disc craft. It was a blue disc craft. It was like an X3. And I found it in the water. Actually, right here. Sleep so pan over there. A little quicker. <laughs> yeah, this right here is where I found most of my discs. I found like a blue X3 when I was about, it's probably like seven years ago. That was the first disc I ever threw. But other than that. Okay. One more question. If you were to have a fantasy card of you and three other people whether it be friends and pros alike who would you want to play around with um <laughs> holy smokes probably sleeve one because that's an easy win uh <clears throat> then probably like two pros so maybe like i've seen a lot of simon lazat on sleeford's disc so i'd want to bless him with uh around with him <laughs> and um probably paul mcbeth too because uh he's just amazing so it would be me sleeve and then lazat and Macbeth. all right that's awesome anything you want to leave us with um i just wanted to you know just breathe in this moment of victory of versus sleeve i mean it's a little round recap guys i'm not gonna lie to you I didn't play too well today austin came out swinging i couldn't step up to the plate but it was all fun in all seriousness um, Austin is a really good friend, probably one of the first friends I had when I moved to Wisconsin here. Um, we got into disc golf separately, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and as always, stay out of the drop zone.